Hello and welcome to Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to simplify the expression with several nested radicals and I am going to present you two methods. That already sounds pretty exciting, so let's get right on to it. So we have this expression. The first method is to use the denesting formulas that can be applied to the nested radicals in these forms. You can easily see that the inner part is a complete square, so the expressions become square root of a plus square root of b and square root of a minus square root of b respectively. Also, when dealing with minus sign, you should always subtract smaller number from larger number, since this square root of something must be non-negative. I have already made these videos related to the nested radicals, so feel free to check those videos in the description or at the top right corner. Now let's apply this to our problem here. Now for the first term right here, Notice that 5 is 3 plus 2, and 6 is 3 times 2. So this inner part is square root of 3 plus square root of 2 square. So if we remove the outer radical, we have square root of 3 plus square root of 2. For the second term, we now have minus sign here. So now the inner part is square root of 3 minus square root of 2 square. So we have square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Similarly, for the third term, 6 is 5 plus 1, and 5 is 5 times 1. So we have square root of 5 plus square root of 1, which is square root of 5 plus 1. And for the one with the minus sign, we now have square root of 5 minus square root of 1, therefore square root of 5 minus 1. Therefore, this expression can be written as square root of 3 plus square root of 2 minus square root of 3 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 5 plus 1 minus square root of 5 minus 1, which is square root of 3 plus square root of 2 minus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 5 plus 1 minus square root of 5 plus 1. So we have square root of 3 cancelling out and square root of 5 cancelling out, so we finally have 2 times square root of 2 plus 2. So that's the first method with the denesting formulas. Now for the second method, the idea for the second method comes from the fact that we have these pairs of nested radicals with opposite sign. So first, let us take a look at this first half. Here, let us square the whole thing. Why do we do that? Well, you will see, we apply this formula. So first we have 5 plus 2 square root of 6, and then b square part, which is 5 minus 2 square root of 6, and now minus 2ab part, and we can write that part as square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 6 times 5 minus 2 square root of 6. So these two square root of 6 cancel out, so we have 10 minus, and for here, we can apply this famous formula. So this part simply becomes 5 squared minus 2 square root of 6 square, which is 10 minus 2, 25 minus 24, which is simply 1. So we have simply 10 minus 2, which is 8. Now we have to take a square root to obtain this value. Here, notice that 5 plus 2 square root of 6 is greater than 5 minus 2 square root of 6, and both of these are positive. So for their positive square roots, we have this inequality, which means that this thing right here is positive. Therefore, we take positive square root of 8, which is 2 times square root of 2. Okay, so we have this. Next, we do the same thing for this part. So again, let's square this, then we obtain 6 plus 2 square root of 5 plus 6 minus 2 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 6 plus 2 square root of 5 times 6 minus 2 square root of 5. So these terms cancel out, so we have 12 minus 2, and this part becomes 6 square, which is 36, minus square of 2 square root of 5, which is 20. So this part is the square root of 16, which is 4. Therefore, 12 minus 2 times 4, so we obtain 4. Again, we have this, so we have this inequality for square roots, so this 
must be positive. So taking positive square root of 4, this equals 2. Therefore, for this entire expression, we simply have 2 times square root of 2 plus 2, which is of course the same answer obtained by the first method. So that's all for today's video. Please check my other nested radical videos where the link is in the description or on the top right corner of the video. And also please hit like and subscribe to my channel for various interesting math problems. And I will see you in another video.